now for our daughters. We want them to be future members. Emotions every time, you just feel like... More? Tell us more about your marriage. <laughs> oh, great. You're a lot. The first episode I watched is our, ma our marriage therapy. There's a lot here. What do we need to work on, Emily? Alex, you're so quiet. What do we need to do? So, we're about to the last speaker of the day, yeah. and then we've got some kind of not great news, but, or not great. We're not leaving till tomorrow morning when we thought we were leaving tonight because there's no room on the flights, and I had to buy a ticket, which is just part of the reality. Sometimes, I guess there was a problem with Delta Airlines this week, and... Yeah, so I'm gonna buy a ticket. We're actually gonna sleep in the airport. So that's gonna be fun. <laughs> but it kind of means that we get to hang out tonight, which otherwise we would have been leaving right about this time. So we're happy to hang out. We're gonna make it fun. We're gonna hang out in LA, be cool. Last night we went to a. <laughs> you were so cute. You blended right in. You was playing foosball with all the youngins. I felt like an old lady. Uh, loud great, music. Yeah. I'm like, oh, why all this loud music? Come on, it was fun though. <laughs> it was fun though. We had a good time. Yeah. We did. like being together. That's all that matters. 
It's time for a revolution in education. And as the Human Project is embarking on this mission of rescuing humanity from dysfunction, humanity's inability to understand their inherent self-worth, who they are as a person, what value they can give to the world, we have to rethink the boxes that we put ourselves in. We have to look at opportunities, not that just are systematically for the rich, but are for the entire world. We have to look at the technology that we have, the opportunity we have to share. We are going to be creating a human academy, a revolution in education, a physical location here in Los Angeles where we will be bringing in children and working with them and unlocking their potential. And at the same time, utilizing VR, I believe that virtual reality is a literal bridge into a, where we're really going to go with technology. We're already in conversation with individuals that have the goggles and all that fun stuff for distribution around the world. Where a child can be anywhere in the world and go through an educational VR experience where they can feel like they are in our actual facility and deploying it to our children around the world giving children everywhere a fair advantage of succeeding in life. I want to feel like I belong. I want to know that I have value. And I need the tool set to succeed. And I truly believe that we can change the education system and give it to the world. I believe that if we want our children to succeed, we need to teach them that limitlessness is not a fantasy. It's a 100% possibility. 100% is it? Yeah, so I got the lack of the reality. I'm going to let you share this. Yeah. That wasn't so long. It was like 45 minutes. No, 40 minutes. So you're okay that we're here for five hours. <laughs> what do you want me to do? What do you want to do? You want to... Yeah. I wanted to solve the problem and like go over to Delta and on and on, but there's no flights. It's 12.30 at night, so there's no flights. I'm screwed. We're, we're screwed. here for five hours. We're gonna sleep here. Mm -hmm.